Hey guys, I wanted to show you a little something here. This is the upper part of my property. I've turned it into a garden. Fairly big sized one. The reason I wanted to show this to you is uh, I was on a, a, another channel the other day, uh, Viking Preparedness, Pastor Joe Fox. And someone left a question in the comment section about wanting to move out in the country and and, and do the farming thing and try to go off grid and, and they just didn't know how to start and it's something you see a lot of videos about and a lot of people wondering uh, the best way to go about it these are our uh, sunflowers here we're gonna see what we can do about growing some chicken feed this summer and maybe uh, experiment with getting a little more uh, self-sufficient with the chicken feed uh, and, and, and most of the people who you see asking these questions, it, it, they seem so intimidated or daunted or overwhelmed by the prospect of buying, you know, land and, and moving out on it and going off grid. And uh, I thought, yeah, I mean, I understand that. Land's expensive. But uh, I just kind of want to show what we were doing because uh, you, know, you don't have to have 150 acres in, in the middle of the Ozarks to, to do this thing, although that would be nice. Uh we are on 2.4 acres. We are 4.9 miles away from a Walmart uh, with plenty of jobs and, well, maybe not plenty of jobs, but certainly available jobs. And only about an hour and a half north of Atlanta, we are not exactly in the boonies. I don't know if you can hear in the background, the neighbors are out in their yards and whatnot. But on this 2.4 acres, I got a house I got a stream, and I think we paid 30000 for it. Uh, and I started clearing a little bit at a time. Uh, what you see here, what you're looking at is about, oh gosh, off the top of my head, I think it's two-thirds of an acre that's cleared. Uh, don't quote me on that. I might have to double check. It took us three or four years to clean it a little bit at a time. Uh, I started by myself. wasn't getting very, very far. My father-in-law came out and, and started helping. And uh, he got a little tractor. I think he paid like 2,500 bucks for the tractor. And uh, it's just a little Ford 8N diesel motor. So it's not an 8N, but it's a little Ford with a diesel motor. It looks like an 8N. Uh, and we started clearing a little bit at a time. We got this upper part clear. No, no, we got the middle part there cleared first. And then we did the upper part, and then we've expanded it down to the lower. Uh, so the investment... To get to this point was pretty low uh we we were a little fortunate my wife had an inheritance for about ten thousand dollars so we were able to put a down payment down on the place and, and we've only financed twenty thousand listen now for thirty thousand dollars on 2.4 acres you're not getting the taj mahal uh but it's dry and uh it's warm in the winter and it's extremely warm in the summer because we don't air condition it because we are working towards being off grid we're not there yet uh, and so here we are. I think we're four years in. Uh, everything's just now starting to come up. Obviously, you can see our greens and the broccoli and the collards and everything. And there's the sunflowers. And we got some Irish potatoes over there, which I have never had any good luck with. They don't do well here. Uh, and then we got a lot of peanuts up through here, which do great. And it's hard to t see what they are. You need to come down in here need to do some weeding obviously uh, and then down here are the sweet potatoes which do much better in our area uh, so being in the south it's kind of a traditional crop uh, the sweet potatoes are going to just kind of be the staple your your, your big calorie food uh, i was I, last year was really the first year i did them and they did great and then farther on down we've got corn and beans out the wazoo uh, uh, without a lot of investment and and, and without a lot of prior skill you know, we just kind of just started planting, and here we are. Uh, this year, I don't know how much of our own food we'll raise this year. It may not be that much, uh, but I would imagine next year we'll push the garden down just a little bit more, uh, and we'll be that much closer to, to being food independent. Uh, and the total investment so far, obviously we're not done paying for the place, 
but you know we're under twenty thousand dollars and that and some of that was financed you know it was ten thousand dollars to for the down payment are, are pretty low as you can imagine on a twenty thousand dollar note and uh, there's room to expand in the future as, as we use up all this. So it doesn't have to be hard and it doesn't have to be a huge upfront investment. You can get out of the city. You can get into the country, uh, maintain your job, maintain something of a, of, of a normal standard of living. Uh, we have cars. You know, like I said, we go to Walmart. About the only thing we don't have that, that most of you would want would be air conditioning. Uh, there's the beast. Say hello, beast. Yeah, hello. But here it is, we're living the dream, and it's it's getting uh, closer and closer every year. It's amazing to look at what it is now, four years later, compared to what it was. I wish I had a before shot, but I don't. But all this was woods. You know, where you see those trees down there, that just extended up this way. It was more hardwood. But, uh... But that's it. Hey, uh, appreciate it, guys.